Hello. So this is Sunil and I want to do another tutorial for the development team so they can fully understand wiki reviews. Wiki reviews is a review site as you know for movies, products, businesses, doctors, lawyers, and dentists which are considered as professionals. So here are the main categories. Products, businesses, movies, professionals, which are accountants, dentists, lawyers, and doctors, and actors. So we are going to let people write reviews about all of these different things. Okay, we are the only site to do that. So that's what Wiki Reviews is all about. So as you can see here, there's a feed, and everybody gets a feed right here. Okay, so you can see what's in your feed. People, all your friends, just like in Facebook, can post your feed. Over here, you can connect your social accounts with Facebook and Twitter. The Facebook integration has to still happen. So it gets so when you write a review, you can post it and share it on Facebook. That still has to be fixed. Okay. We also have who are your favorite actors. Okay, we want people to fill this part out and tell us who they like, who are their favorite actors, who are their favorite. Uh, this this part has to be fixed. I don't know why it's not showing, but it should constantly be showing a lot of different actors. And you'll see in Basecamp there is another a post I made where we were supposed to ask, what is your favorite pizza restaurant? What, who is your favorite plumber? Because we are looking for people to put in who their favorites are, what their favorite pizza places, who are their favorite actors, what are their favorite TVs, um, what are their favorite movies. So we gather that information about them and then their friends can see all that as well. Okay, so we're, there's one, one project, uh, one, one task, which is to adjust this whole part of who are your favorite actors and ask a whole bunch of additional questions. Okay, so just so you know, this is Wiki Reviews, the website. Now, how does Wiki Reviews make money? Okay, we are making money just off businesses. So off businesses claiming their pages and paying us. Okay, now there are professionals, the accountants, dentists, doctors, and lawyers. They can claim their page and pay us as well. Okay, so businesses and these professionals can pay us. And that's why we have a couple other accounts. As you can see here, we have biz.wiki reviews. This is, this is a page for businesses to claim their page. You can sign up and claim your page and, and claim your business on our site. Now, when you do the sign up process, you have to put in the name. You put in your business name and zip code. Okay. But this, this part right here has to change to be with this pull down, except for we will make the default business and they can put in the city and put in the business. And that's how this part sh it needs to be modified. Where we put enter business and zip code, it has to be changed to what we have here. Just keep the default as business. Okay. Now this is where individual businesses can claim their page. So if you have like a restaurant, you can type in your restaurant name, it will show up, and then you can claim your page. By claiming your page, our system will automatically call the phone number that we have in our database. And if they answer the phone and put in a four-digit code that, gets, that shows up on the screen, then we know that they are the owner of that business, okay? And they claim it. Once they claim it, as you can see, they can modify a lot of different things on their page. So let's log in. Just scroll all the way down. Log in. Okay, from this page here, this is how you can manage everything. The business owner can manage everything. They can put in their picture, put in their title, put in their business information, their phone numbers, website address, all factual information they can put in here. They can modify the categories. They can see all the statistics. 
of users that are coming to their pages. This is all category statistics of users coming to their to their individual page. And these are different categories that they can modify as well as their hours of operation. They can add menu items. And right here is additional information. Now we have a long list of additional information. Some of it is subjective and some is objective. So I think uh, Mon can explain to you the difference between subjective and objective. But objective data is, is factual information. Like do you offer Wi-Fi? Yes or no? And objective information is kind of, you know, is, it, is this a restaurant good for large groups? That's up to the individual person. So we are not letting business owners decide on the answers for those things. That we are relying on the, upon the community to do. Okay, so we're only putting a certain subset of additional information here for businesses to modify when, once they claim their page. The specialties, they can talk about their business here. History, um, same thing. Meet the business owner. This is all information that businesses can put in and enter in, including special offers for people who come to their page. Okay, now when people write reviews, the review should show up here. The numbers have to be in here. See how there's a number three for messages and a zero for feedback? This, this should only show up with the turquoise circle if there are any number of reviews to look at that are new reviews. So if it should, it, if there is none, this circle should not show up. So if it's zero, it should not show up. So these are bugs that have to be fixed. Okay? So as you can see, you can click on every one of these and you can see what you can do. If there are new reviews, this circle with the turquoise goes right next to new. Okay, if there's answered, disputed, they should all show up here. See that these are answered, the business owner replied. See this? These are answered reviews. Now businesses can dispute reviews. Uh, business owners can dispute reviews and so can um, people who are using the site. So consumers can do the same thing. Now you can see here there's my posts. So businesses can create posts and they can tag people. So you can create a post like this. And you can share it with people who recommend your page, people who want your page, or people who favorite your page. Okay, because you can see here if I go to a business and I go to their page, let's go to this page. You can see right here, you see this? You can add to your want list, favorites, or watch list. So now I've added Pyology Pizzeria to my favorites. So Pyology Pizzeria, can do just specific messages to people who have favorited their page by clicking on the right thing here. Okay? And you can see that you can do, they can do any kind of posts, talking about their business, talking about specials, or doing whatever they want to do. Okay? So there are statistics about users coming to the website coming to their page. There's a feed here that they can po do posts. Okay, there's also a feed in which it shows every time that a user tags them. If I tag their business, which we also have to fix, if I tag it, it should show up here. Okay? See, Sunil W asked a question about Hamco distribution. I tagged Hamco. So that means that's why it's showing up in the feed. Okay? So there are reviews. There are messages. Now, there are different messages. There are call to action messages and there are business messages. So on the page, you can actually, you know, send a message to the business. So let's go to Hamco Distribution. Hamco.
Okay, so the message this business is for some reason missing missing from this page. It should show up right above detailed star ratings. Message this business. That's not there. So I think that's uh, that's another error that's that we have to fix. Okay. Um, so there's a call to action messages and business messages. The call to action messages, I'll show you. There's a design for that. And all of this used to work. I don't know why it's not working right now. Um, there are call to action messages where when a business pays us, see, look, look right here. We're currently on the free plan, okay? So let's do this. When a, a business who owns like one business can sign up for premium. See, they can offer to pay us. Okay. Okay. Once you they have paid us and we collect the money, you can set up a call to action. And these are all the additional benefits that they can do that a user gets when they pay us. So let's uh, let's do. We go to this, we set up the call to action, okay? What we have right now is this one. Change call to action button. These are the different call to action buttons. Book now, buy tickets, contact us, schedule appointment, reserve now, request a consultation. So all of these things will show up on the Hamco distribution page right here, okay? So let me try doing that. Let's get started and let's select one. Let's say book now. Save. It's 40% off. Okay. Okay. So we'll say done. This is what the ad will look like. So now let's go to the Hamco distribution page. Let's refresh that. There it is. Book now. See that? It's showing up here. There's also supposed to be the message this business part. Here it is. Message business right here. Okay, so if you message this business, hello. That will go right into the messages area. And it goes into business messages. See, hello. Of course, this number of zero, it should have said one. I don't know why. It, and it should be in the turquoise color. Okay, so that's a bug. Call to action. Now let's look here. If, we, if I go back to the Hamco distribution page, and say book now it basically booking now makes it go to a website but if you choose something else which I'll show you let's go back into account settings and go to um, call to action let's change the call to action to request a quote okay save 20% if you call today. Done. Now, if you go to Hamco Distribution, let's refresh the page. Request a quote. Okay, that also is going to a link. Let me see one thing. Um, okay, is that what you're using? Call to action. Oh, contact us. Sorry, this one will say.
only a certain number of these um, messages go go to uh, messages that you can send. Okay, and this is one of them. So contact us. If you click contact us. Hmm. Don't know how that happened. I think it's there must be a bug because not every one of these um, have. Uh, let's see, chain of call to action. So let's look and see what happens. Let me go online. Okay, so if we're on the biz account, let's go to messages. And look, this is schedule appointment. Do you see that? Schedule appointment, schedule appointment. These resulted in messages directly to the business. So let's go to account settings. Let's go into call to action. Let's change the call to action to schedule appointment. Let's go to Hamco. Here we go. Request an appointment with Hamco. So you put in like a phone number. Say, I would like to see you tomorrow. Request an appointment. Okay. Now that should come in to messages area I would like to see you tomorrow do you see that so there's a handful of these that um, when you do the call to action it'll come to messages so that's pretty much how this whole part works but if you look at the actual page of Hamco users can come to this page and read all about your your company now if they have questions they can ask you questions here you can say how many days of the week are you open? Okay. Now I can ask this to the owner of the business or just to friends if I wanted to, or to the community or to everyone and see who answers. Okay. So I'm going to ask this question. Now on the back end, I should get a notification that um, right here that there is a message in Q&A. See, how many days of the week are you open? And I can answer this because I'm the business owner. You see that? So that's pretty much what, this is where a business can answer uh, Q&A, feedback, uh, messages, and reviews. Okay, this is where they can do all of these things. And this is also where you'll be able to, dispute, to respond to disputed reviews, okay? And certain categories of businesses, they can add employees who work there. Only in certain categories. You can put in the month and day that they work there. Okay? Because there is a place on the page for certain categories of businesses where it does show the reviews of individuals who work at a business. So let's say, for example, this is a place where people cut hair. And there are 10 people who cut hair. Now, you may want to know how the how each person does and the reviews of cutting hair. So that's why there are certain categories of businesses we are allowing uh, allowing them to put employees and list the employees there. And the ones that got good reviews are the ones that are going to show up on the actual listing page. We have a page right here. See, it says people working here. And that it shows up over here. Okay. Now, we only want to show the people working here that have a, a four-star rating or higher. Okay, only those of the four star rating or higher should show up here. So this is a bug that has to be um, has to be uh, modified. Okay, because these people have no reviews, but they they we do need to only list the people that have 
four stars or higher on average reviews. Okay, so this is how uh, how how businesses work. You can see that you know you can get notifications and messages, right? We also have to set up and make sure that all desktop notifications show up here as well. So the little uh, a little you know pop up shows up for desktop notifications. Okay, all of that has to get working throughout the whole platform. And then there's a business owner tour. So you can learn about how the site works. So I suggest you guys click on business owner info tour and learn about how the site works. Just keep clicking OK and you can see all of this. OK, so I recommend you doing that. You can, let me skip this part, OK? But what you can also do is you can also do the site tour. So this will also explain to you how this site works, OK? Here on the top left, it says the page, page views this month, the eight number of reviews, 18 questions asked, and 26 contributions made. Okay. Okay. So we have to actually set up a lot of things because this part doesn't work. See these things? This show, should show page views. I don't know if it's working. And this also has to be adjustable. Right here, these are supposed to be adjustable for the past, you know, couple of years. Right here at the top, this is supposed to be adjustable. The calendar dates, okay? And it should be done in U the way the United States does time, which would be month, day, and then year. This shows year, date, and month, but it should be month, day, and year, okay? So that has to be has to be fixed. Um, and I and I suggest you read all of these things too. So you can actually learn what we recommend of how to respond to reviews, how you respond to feedback, all of those things. Okay? So now you know what's on what's on a user page, right? All of these things. This is on the business page. See all of this? Okay. Now on the business listing page, you can see once a business claims their page, they can decide to actually have whatever logo they want showing in the top left and if they want a video or an image to show up here. The, the, the business owner gets to determine that. And once they, actually, once they actually claim their page, we create this new folder called business owner. Okay, until the business owner does it, the users who have uploaded images, those show up on the page as the default images. But once a business owner claims it, then they can, they can determine, and they're paying us, they can determine uh, what in, that the when they pay us this business owner folder the images that are shown in here are the default that gets sh that gets shown so as you can see it showed us under the all section here and that's really not what should show up the business owner images should be the default that should show up after a business pays us if they do not pay us we do create this folder but the all images will still be the default that shows up here. And all user images are what will show up as the background and the logo, unless the business owner has uploaded something. Okay, if we have nothing, then we'll use what the business owner put. But until they pay us, then their images get to be the default. Otherwise, it's what, if the user, what they uploaded is what is used. Okay. This is how you recommend a page, and this is how you flag. And so flagging pages and all that, we have not done yet. That's going to be the next step. I have also asked that uh, Mon get somebody to help work on the reviews part. So there is a review over here, like when you create a review. Uh, over here, you can do a text review, but record a review. This, what this should do is it should ask you if you can open up and take a video review of yourself. 
you know, recording a review that can get posted from the desktop. Um, so basically, it should open up the camera on your TV, I mean, on your, on your computer to record a review. So for you to record a review. So that part we did not get going, but I asked Mon to get, have somebody fix this one element. Okay. So, okay. So now you know how the business owner works. I think I've kind of gone through most of these, this section here. Okay, so this is how an individual business, an owner of an individual business can claim their page through biz.wiki reviews. That is what this whole platform is all about. We have the professionals page, which is over here. And this is the place where doctors, lawyers, and dentists and accountants can claim their pages. So all the users from wiki reviews over here, all of these people that are listed under these categories are the ones that can claim their pages and respond to reviews. So if a doctor gets a review or a lawyer gets a review, they would have to do a sign-up process here. Now, there is, we have not done the sign-up process yet. We just have the login. There will be a sign-up, and I'm finalizing how we're going to do the sign-up because we have to verify that the doctor is the actual doctor when they claim their page. We don't want people claiming the page that are the wrong person because it will cause big problems. So right now we are still, uh, I'm still working on that sign up process. I'm modifying it actually because I already planned it out, but there's some new technology that we're going to use to do the sign up process here. So that's the next step. And so, Basically, everything that you can do on a business owner page in the back end over here is what you can, what you are supposed to be able to do on the professionals page, all back here. Okay, and so I need this part also fixed up in a very short period of time. So we haven't done the tutorials like I showed you on the biz owner, and we've we haven't done. Uh, the, the notifications and emails that have to go out um, also have to be fixed up for this. So they're already pre-written, but we need to kind of get all the notifications working, the emails working, and fix this whole section up so it works properly. Okay, on the professional section. Okay, so now let me explain to you the biz the, uh, the enterprise version. Enterprise is where large companies that have, let's say, 20 locations or 500 locations or 1,000 locations want to manage all their reviews from one location. Those are the companies that will use enterprise.staging. They'll use the enterprise, uh, you know, login, okay? Uh, so let me log in here. Let's do... Um, Okay, we have marks. Oh, let's let's just do enterprise. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Let me record another video that explains uh, this. So I will be right back making the other video.